Yeah. Nighttime, I see diamonds in the sky. Daytime, I see sunlight shining bright. If I'm alive, how can I not testify of your love, your love, your love? Yeah. Your love, your love, your love. Yeah. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome to Truth Prevails. Um. For this episode, I got a, I went to the Mormon temple and I had a simple question about baptism. And I hope you're sitting down when you hear this answer <laughs> that they was giving me. Um, I'm not going to talk a lot. Just, yeah, watch the video. Oh, hello. I was wondering if there's any elders here. In Spanish? No, English. Sisters? And elders. Elders? Yeah. So there's only four elders, us and the Spanish elders. Well, are you looking for specific people or just some elders to talk to? Yeah, I just needed to talk to an elder. Okay. Yeah, we can talk. All right. I had a um, I had a question um about baptism. Mm -hmm. Now, do you guys teach that baptism is required for salvation? Yeah, as we know in the Bible, it says one 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 God, one baptism. So. Yeah, what, but what kind of like water baptism is required? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the same as Jesus Christ. So yeah, Would but you, there's people that yeah. was never baptized, so it's not fair for them, right? Mm -hmm. So, so did Jesus have to get baptized? He was. But did, did he have to? He needed to be baptized because it was part of the way to enter into, into the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. We're baptized to cleanse ourselves from our sins. Jesus was perfect though, but he was baptized because he was showing us the way and he needed to do that to enter into the kingdom of God. So you you you're under understanding that water water baptism removes your sins? It's part of the repentance, yes. Like when where, where in the Bible would you go to? If someone if I was asking like where would you point into the Bible? I'm not sure. What do you believe about it? Well, um in John he says John the Baptist came and baptized with water, but when Jesus came, he was going to baptize with the Holy Spirit. Oh, that is part of it. We believe you need to be baptized. You need to receive the Holy Spirit as well. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say bat, water baptism is required because 1 Peter 3 says, only thing it does is shows you have a good conscience to God, but it doesn't wash away the filth on your body. So it says it doesn't wash away your sins. Mm -hmm. We believe that the baptism by water is no good without receiving the Holy Ghost as well. They're, mm -hmm. they're hand in hand. Mm -hmm. And so when they work together, they do, that is the important thing is receiving the gift of the Holy Ghost. But you have to be baptized by water first. So when, when do you believe you receive the Holy Spirit? Um, after baptism, well, so there's a thing called confirmation. Really. And Baby, men that are like John the Baptist, he had the authority of God to act in his name, right? Yeah. Yeah. Men that have that authority place their hands upon your yeah, head and they say a blessing or a oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> No, you good. Yeah. They say a blessing or a prayer. Yeah. yeah. And it at that point in time you receive the Holy Ghost. So where's that confirmation? Where is that in the Bible? It talks about how the Holy oh, Ghost the descends the Bible, upon you know? Jesus Christ in the form of a dove, right? Yeah, so, but I mean, where, when the other disciples became disciples, where is that? And when, when right someone says, I need to be saved, where does it say you need, like, confirmation yeah, and stuff? You know, I'm not, I'm not really good with the Bible, to be honest with you. Do you have you, huh? uh, what, what do you believe? What? Well, it's, I'm a, I'm a Gentile. Yeah. I'm not a Jew. Yeah. So in, a, yeah, in, in, the, in the Bible, I see in Acts, in Acts, was it Acts 10, yeah. when um, Peter goes to Cornelius to, for him to be saved, he said, what do I have to do to be saved? No, Once they believed, big, they received the Holy Spirit and they were sealed with it. So it once you believe, bank. how's it hey, going? How are you? How you doing? Doing very yeah, good. Nice to meet you. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. Yeah, to the bank? To the bank. So it was from, you received the Holy Spirit when you believed. And Ephesians 1 says, once you believe, you're sealed with the Holy Spirit. Okay. So that's why I don't understand where it says baptism, you don't receive the Holy Spirit through baptism. The Bible doesn't really, because if you, go, if you read Acts, Acts 10, Cornelius received the Holy Spirit before he was baptized. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, so how do you, that's why, that's why my question would be, how do you connect those two when he received it before? Yeah, so you're pretty you're pretty religious, right? 
Well, yeah, I'm born again, yeah. Okay, all right, that's cool. Amen, yeah. So you go to church around, is it close by here? I go to church downtown. Down in Providence? Yeah, in Providence. Oh, okay, all right, that's yeah. cool. That's I just awesome. moved out here a couple months ago. Okay, that's cool. That's awesome. Well, have you ever met with the elders before? Because you, I mean, you obviously knew who we were, right? I had I had ran into some, some, some moments on the street, okay. and they said they was coming here. I gave them my number. No one ever reached out to me. How long ago was that? This is about, probably about a month and a half. Month and a half ago? Yeah. Were they young men or young women? They was young men. Young men? Yeah. Here or in Providence? They was here. Here? They was coming here. They said they was on their way here to see a baptism. Okay. So they was on their way here. All right, that's cool. Well, we're about to have a meeting with him right now. Do you yeah. think we could take down your address and everything? And yeah, we'll I would love it. I have some questions about, yeah. you know what I mean? We understand. We definitely want to help you to understand a little more there. Yeah. All right, what's your name, brother? Ryan. Ryan. How long you been a Mormon? Oh, I was born and raised. So born I started with my grandfather in Amen. Brazil. I'm from Brazil. So. Oh, Brazil. Yeah. Are you missionary? Yeah, we're missionaries. You, so what, so you're from Brazil? I'm from Brazil. You know, I'm from you? Utah. Utah. Wow. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see if they call back or if they come by. I doubt it. This is probably the second. This is the third time I had a encounter with them, <clears throat> gave up my number and address, and haven't received any call back or visits, which is kind of weird. If you cared about my soul, you know, why wouldn't you come by? Um, it's pretty sad that this guy was an elder, and he keeps asking me what I believe. But you should be teaching me. And if you have the opportunity where a soul's right there and you can tell him the truth, tell him that, you know. But like, comment, and share. Thank you for watching. God bless. Love you.